All right, welcome back. Okay, so in the last update, we did Titus's chapter, but fortunately now we're on Firion's chapter. Hooray! Finally, another cool character. I only played a little bit of uh, Final Fantasy II, and it was on the PSP. I never finished it, but honestly, I really like Firion's design. And also, in Dissidia, I like Firion as a character. It's also kind of a plus that he's voiced by Johnny Young Bosch, who just has that... Who just has that go-to hero voice. That does not mean all of Johnny Young Bosch's characters are great. Looking at you, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. God, that game sucked. What are you doing? It's the Wild Rose. Oh, yeah. That's right. The enemy stole it from me that time. Wait, Sirian, you had it in your hand and it just disappeared again. Like, is it a real rose or did... Break time's over. Final Fantasy Keep magic is weird. <laughs> I like how Firion just completely shuts down Titus's questions. Like, Titus, I am seriously not Once in the mood, bro. With my old man and find my crystal, I'll make you tell me. Uh huh. You're so nosy, Titus. That's one adjective for Titus. Firion, I could think of a lot more. What's your goal in life? Like what do you annoying, mean? stupid, you know, the world pointless. And I guess, spoilers for Final Fantasy X, not real. A goal to strive for as you go down your own path. You gotta have one to make it through what we're facing. Right now, all I can think of is to end the conflict. No matter what it takes. Yeah. You're so uptight. Something wrong with that? In times like these, you just gotta let yourself go. Ferian, do not take advice from Titus. Don't do it. Bad idea. Ferian, the warrior with mastery over eight kinds of weapons. So Ferian is a weapon master. Oh, it's so awesome. Basically all of his weapons just float around him like options from Gradius. And you just fire them out like projectiles or use them up close and personal. It's great. Yet the paths to their individual goals led them to separate and reunite. Well, then again, Cecil and Cloud are not in the party right now. They left. They reunited with other teams. Titus are at a crossroad. Firion would soon be rid of Titus, and there would be much rejoicing. He to search for his journey's end. Getting back on the subject of Titus. Yeah, I know, that's something I never thought I'd say either. Is he really supposed to be in this game? Because, like, okay, spoilers for Final Fantasy X and X-2. Wasn't it kind of like that Titus wasn't even real? Like, he was just a dream that the Faith made up? And that he was based on an actual person, like Shuyin, from Final Fantasy X-2? Because, like, Shuyin looks exactly like Titus and was a famous Blitzball player, and and was like a genocidal maniac who was also in love with a girl who looked pretty damn similar, if not identical, to Yuna, who was also a summoner. So, like, this confuses the ever-loving shit out of me. So who the fuck is Jekt in this scenario? Is Jekt real? I, I guess he is, but like, or is he? Fuck, I don't know, like, the whole thing is like Titus, the whole main thing with Titus is like, he has this giant, all these daddy issues with Jack and wanting to beat his old man. But at the same time, like, they already said that Titus didn't, isn't really a real person, he's just a dream made up by the faith. And it's like, fuck me, this is so freaking confusing. What are you? What are you, Titus? Give me a straightforward fucking answer! I don't know! Are you real? 
No, you're not real. But then what what does that mean for Jack and Titus's mom? Were they real? Or were they or were they Shuyan's parents? Is that what happened? They're just Shuyan's parents? Okay. Fine. I guess in that scenario, Shuyan took Jack's like tough love way, way in the wrong way and just just got, went super homicidal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Final Fantasy, I, I love this series, but it can be a clusterfuck at times. Oh. Remember when everything was simple and it was just go save a princess <laughs> and fight Evil Knight, who... You know what? I'm trying to rep I'm making a joke about Final Fantasy 1 being simple, but that's one of the most fucking complicated ones in the entire series! Because it's all about time travel, and whenever you introduce time travel, then shit gets fucking confusing! <laughs> And don't even get me started on Final Fantasy VIII, when that brought up time travel, or time compression, or... Gosh. Don't, don't wait up for Titus. Trust me, you'll be doing yourself a favor. There. Therian! Yeah, again. I don't really know terribly much about Final Fantasy 2. I do know this. Like, the Emperor is a massive dick. Like I said in the previous update, the dude is so evil and powerful that he took over both hell and heaven. How, how do you do that? Also, he, he looks like the fusion of David Bowie and Dio Brando, which is a deadly combination. <laughs> I should probably comment more on Furion's fighting style. Hey, guess what? Furion has a combo attack. Which means a lot of these fights are going to be over super quickly. Like, a lot of his moves, like, pull enemies in. Like his, like his axe or his real knife. It just smacks an enemy from a distance, pulls them up close, and he can either deck them in the face at that point, or he can just use double trouble and end the fight immediately. You know, if they're weak enough. Like so. God, I love combo attacks. They're great. Yes, an easy win. Think of this as training. that huh titus where are you huh. don't know where he is yes <laughs> hold on you're titus's father aren't you what did you oh do my god you? you're so much cooler than your son thing. i've been told there's no point in me fighting him yet titus has been looking forward to settling things with you don't tell me you ran from the fight that wasn't funny, kid. Oh boy. Everyone's getting in my way. Furion. Kind of you off. pissed I off Jack. That's you. not a very smart idea. My goodness. Now, unlike Titus, I think Furion can handle him. Like story wise at least. But then again, Jack is a massive badass. You're gonna get hurt standing around like that. Fine. I'll fight you. 
Again, story and gameplay segregation. Lord of Arms can just beat him instantly, but still, story-wise, oh, Jack's a fucking badass. But I've already went over this in my huge love for Jack in the last update. Yes, an easy win. You're not half bad. He is just a beast. Not done yet. I won't fight against you. What? What's the matter? I realized something as I fought you. The one you really want to fight isn't me. It's Titus. Why use me as a substitute when you know he's determined to face you? That's a good way to not get yourself Who killed, Furion. Who thinks he knows it all? But you sure know how to hit a guy where it hurts. Good. Steer the beast of a man I elsewhere. To see where I'm supposed to go. Thanks to all your meddling. Haha, <laughs> he said the thing. You know, when you're having a bad day, you just gotta let yourself go. And go punch a pretty boy in the face. Virian, are you okay? I get it now. Like father, like son. What a resemblance. Really? After your fight with Jack, that's what you took away from it? In what way? In what way? Uh. And I like how, how uh, Jack said, thanks for all the thanks to your meddling. It's a cute little reference, because I'm pretty sure Oren said that in Kingdom Hearts 2, thanks for meddling. I'm pretty sure that was a reference to Jack. <laughs> because they're best because they're best friends. And now instead of seeing the voice acted version of this uh, cutscene, now we just get uh, little text boxes. So <laughs> instead of hearing, <laughs> so instead of hearing James Earl Taylor screaming and running away, we just get to read it. <laughs> what a spaz. Uh... <laughs> he just runs away and starts- he just runs away and screams. <laughs> Alerting every single warrior of chaos to their position. What an idiot. And again, I've already covered over this cutscene before. So here's a fun fact. All of Therian's weapons are references to the party members from Final Fantasy II. Therian and Leon use swords, Maria use bows, Guy used axes, Minwoo used staves, Rickard and Gordon used lances, Layla used knives, and Joseph used his bare hands. They do mention that like the shield is an exception, but I think they but I think they've also mentioned uh but the wiki mentions that Minwoo Minwu used a shield in his artwork. So That is another thing I know about Final Fantasy 2. Pretty much every guest party member that shows up in your team is pretty much prone to death. Like, they will die. That's one thing I will give to Final Fantasy. They don't shirk away on, like, killing off characters. Which I can respect. I can respect that. It's pretty ballsy to just, like, kill off a party member or a main character or something along those lines.
Think of this as training. Can't run. It just has such a huge reach. Like, no distance. You're not safe at any distance from, from Furion. Weapon Master is one of my favorite moves, though. It's great. It's just getting caught in the on all the weapons and just get impaled, Iron Maiden style. Yes, an easy win. Yes, it was, Furion. It was an easy win. Give it all I have. Can't run. I also like that Furion's go-to weapon in this is pretty much reminiscent of his box artwork. Because I think in Final Fantasy II, at least the original one, it's just straight up just the fighter sprite again. But like his artwork is this really cool, is the uh, design that we have right now, which is the one I like the most. That's kind of what drew me to Final Fantasy II, because I thought friggin' Furion looked so awesome. I really like his design, I think it's cool. Apparently that game is pretty busted because you can just, like, get a super overpowered weapon, like, early on in the game. Again, I've never completed Final Fantasy II. Embarrassing as that may be to say. There's quite a few Final Fantasy games I have not actually completed. The more recent ones I have, but, like, earlier ones, there, there are quite a few early ones I haven't beaten all the way. Like, one, two, I've beaten three and four. I've been working on five and six. Seven I've beaten. Eight I've started, but never finished. Nine I haven't beaten. I beat ten. I tried to get into eleven, but eh. Online games are... Kind of iffy for me sometimes. Like MMO, MMOs are not my strong suit. Um, Twelve I beat, oddly enough, even though that kind of plays like an MMO. Thirteen, yeah, I I beat thirteen and thirteen too, and those were ugh. didn't even bother with lightning returns because not falling for that shit. Um, I tried a pinch of fourteen, that was that was fun for a while, but then you know. Eh. I already mentioned my business with that. And then recently I've beaten 15, so... Sorry for being so selfish, but I gotta do this. Internally, Furion's going like, yes, 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 leave, leave, leave. <laughs> Finally! Yeah, uh -huh. okay, go. Leave now. you go. Leave! Get away! So, we go our separate ways. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh boy. It looks like you are all alone. Have all your friends abandoned you? Christopher they Corey are. Smith! <laughs> they have only gone to do what they must. Yeah, the oh, Emperor is voiced by Christopher Corey then, Smith. And hey, you know quick little bit of trivia. He voices one of the antagonists in Persona 5. Don't worry, time. Persona 5 is on the docket, and it is coming up sooner as opposed to later. Such a grand statement. From a mere cog in the war machine. He's going to end the conflict. So he says. <laughs> then, we should teach him a lesson. On the futility of wishing for an end. See... They can make these big grand speeches, but then when I beat you in like three seconds, it's not really that impressive. Fight with all your might and wail. There's nothing to learn from you. I'm just gonna hit you with my hat. I like that. Yeah, here's your wail. Oh no. Futile, was it? Okay. Oh yeah, my yes, struggles are futile. Work. There's no point in continuing. Oh no, just a, merely a cog in the machine. After I just whooped your ass. Did I not say it was? Fun? Okay. What? Cutscenes completely nullify you your sense of achievement. You didn't win. Gods for ages. 
What do you possibly think you could do? <laughs> How pathetic. That is a badass I'm belt buckle, I gotta say. The crystals will never become if it was just a bit lower, Even the I would say the David Bowie all... comparison would be complete, because it'd be a wicked-ass codpiece. struggles be wasted. I will obtain the crystal and bring an end to this. Is that truly your will? What do you mean? That is why you are weak. You only fight because you are told to. You are nothing but Cosmos's tool. Am I just Cosmos's tool? How is this a moral crisis? I want to end this conflict. Oh, is that really what you want to do? End the conflict? Ha, huh, I figured you'd say that because you're her tool. No, it's because we're in a fucking war and I want it to be over because this sucks. Shut up. Never listen to the enemy. Never listen to the Warriors of Chaos. They're dicks. They are assholes. Why would you pay... Why would you give them even a second of your time? The second they show up and start, like, going on with their giant speeches, they'll be like, Oh, it's so futile. Yes, you're merely a cog in the machine. But before he even opens his mouth, throw an axe or a shoot him with an arrow directly into his face. There. Problem solved. And then he'd be all like, no, wait, you need to let me talk. Nope, we're fighting. Come on. Come get you some. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. I get it's like it's supposed to be like an action movie, and they need to wax poetic here and there. Especially if it's a Final Fantasy game, of all things. Everybody needs to wax poetic. Heroes and villains. Look, just give me a legitimate reason as to why attacking does not work. Like... The character's too weak, or the enemy is currently way too strong right now, or they can just nullify all attacks. I don't know. There. There. Cosmos. Cloud, Cecil, and Tidus have each obtained their crystals. How long was that fight with Ultimisha? Done it. Or how quick it's were they really in getting their crystals? What is the time frame for this story? Because they never stopped walking down the paths they chose. The paths they chose. Have you lost yours? I never had a specific objective I could call my own. Like winning against my father. Or fighting alongside my brother. I just wanted to bring an end to the conflict. It's like the Emperor said. I'm only a tool without a will of my How own. is bringing an end to the conflict just yes, something a tool would do? You do have a goal. A dream that you have kept inside your heart for a long time. <laughs> but my dream is nothing special. It's more like... Just a childish dream. Tell me your dream. And the future you wish for. In your heart. Wild roses. My dream is a world filled with wild roses. Oh, that's nice. When the battle is over. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Cosmos is flowers. just in the background, just going like, <clears throat> world where we can Yeah, overcome flowers. <clears throat> Yeah, that's a good dream. That's a good dream for you, period. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, God, my warriors are nerds. <laughs> nah. Furion's cool. You would not have had such a dream. Cosmos, you're right. It is my dream. And it's up to me to seize it. Wow, so you had that whole crisis of self-worth for, like, what? Two, three minutes tops. Like, <laughs> oh no, I'm just a tool. I have no will of my own. Remember, you want to make the world full of flowers. Right, I can do this. Okay, I get brevity is the soul of wit, but either don't introduce the whole, like, 
oh, I'm just a tool thing. Or freaking say, or at least introduce the flower thing a little later on. <laughs> Damn. At least let us linger on one, at least let us linger on one story element for a bit longer than not at all. Jeez. But I get it, it's a fighting game. We gotta speed this up. Come on, let's let us let us get through this chapter. We don't have all day. Bye, Kane. Oh, I miss Kane. Kane was the coolest. I'm glad he's in the City of Arcade. Which, hey, guess what? Noctis is in that. Yeah, that's been common knowledge for a while now, but... Hey, still cool. And also, yeah, apparently, he's in Tekken 7. Gotta say, out of all the characters to be put into Tekken 7, that was not the first one on my mind, gonna be honest. Honestly, I'm like a lot of people and I thought it was going to be Kazuma Kiryu, but, hey, it's cool with me. I, I, I mean, it, it's something cool and new. Ninja Turtles are in uh, Injustice 2, and Noctis is in Tekken 7. So is Geese Howard. Hey, I'm into this. This is cool. I love all these wacky little cameo appearances. 2017 seems to just be like... The year of cameo appearances in gaming. You got the Battletoads and Killer Instinct, Shovel Knight and Ukulele. You got these fighting game crossover stuff. It's great. And apparently Joker from Persona 5 is in Sonic Forces. So, you know. What does an aimless tool of war want with me? I am not just a tool. I fight in order to make my dream come true. So shut up, Emperor. Wild roses. You shouldn't risk your life over such a worthless dream. Deck him in the face. You don't even have the strength to take hold of it. Beep, beep, beep. What's the matter? Really? Are you done One little laser beam puts you, you on your knees, Furion. You guys. You hey, Cloud's back. On your own. A oh, and so is Titus. We'll defend it together. Now it's three on one, bitch. What you gonna do? Has come. Uh, I guess I'll leave. Firion, come to where I am. Come and show me your will. This is totally not a trap. Cecil and Terra should be joining us soon, but you're going alone, aren't you? To get away from you, Titus? I yes. Magical flower. How did you... Show us the rest of your dream. That's right. We'll all be waiting for you. I'll be back. So hey, Furion got his rose back. Yay! Tied up that little plot line. Don't even think about fighting chaos by yourself. Trust me, man. I tried that. Wasn't fun. Keith David ain't nothing to fuck with. He will end you. <laughs> I like that Cloud is the one saying that. Yeah, I got friggin' suplexed by chaos.
protect a dream. Well, Cloud, you got Furion's Rose back. I mean, it's not that big of a problem. You fought off Sephiroth to get that back. Oh, it's because it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's because he he told Terra about Furion's uh, flower dream. But hey, Furion's cool with it. Everybody's happy. Everybody gets to get on the wild rose dream. The land of discord. Okay. Like, at what point do you just realize, okay, this just sounds like a fucking supervillain. Look how fucking evil this place looks! Look how terrifyingly hard. Look at this place! Why would you go without backup? You stupid fool! I get. You can fight the Emperor by yourself, but dude! Take some backup with you, man! Like, you know the Emperor's probably laying a huge trap for you, right? Who's to say, like, none of the other Warriors of Chaos are just gonna be like, Oh, hey, look at this guy. Let's get him. And then they just gang up on you and just beat the hell out of you. I'm just saying, villains have no sense of fair play. At least in most cases. At least most of the Warriors of Chaos have no sense of fair play. There's about two who are cool. And that's Golbez and Jet. And that's about it. Everyone else, super fucking evil. And they and none of them play fair. Maybe Sephiroth, maybe, on a good day. Sometimes this is why I prefer pragmatic heroes. Heroes who don't necessarily play fair, but play to win. I, I don't know. Those are just some of my favorites. That's why I like... I've been playing Tales of Viseria recently, and the main cast are just a bunch of assholes. That's the whole story with them. And their whole deal is, yeah, we're dicks, so we're gonna, so we're gonna fight like dicks because our opponents are assholes. Fuck them. We want to win. I don't care. I'm gonna use whatever method I have. I'm gonna avoid any fights I don't need to fight. And if there's something I can take advantage of, I'm going to abuse the hell out of it. All the Joe stars, with the exception of Jonathan, almost every single Joe star is equal parts, like, physical strength and equal parts intelligence and outwitting their opponents. Think of this as training. Can't run! You've come. I will not lose to one who calls me a tool of war! <laughs> you and your pathetic dream. I should erase such flights of fancy. You're far better off as just a tool. Impossible. I have friends who share my dream. As long as my friends are here, the dream will never fade! You can never erase our hopes for the future! In that case, 
I shall simply make everything mine. Cause I'm the Emperor. Oh, we're doing the big boss fight now. What? High quality cutscene time. Oh boy. <laughs> not not starting off great for Furion. You should have disposed of your fantasy and accepted me as master. Oh shit. Yeah. What? No, stab him. There is no meaning strength only used to hurt others I have dreams dreams worth dying for oh he's got the blood sword like you do oh that's that's story appropriate because the freaking blood sword is oh box cover box cover pose yes that's the pose for Final Fantasy 2 it's awesome and he's got the blood sword which is like the weapon which is like the ultimate weapon against the Emperor oh it's so good I'm sorry, I, I was I was just a uh, little excited. It's the little details that are the best. And done. Fight over. Bye, Emperor. Yes, an easy win. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh goodness! And with that, all tension is lost. This isn't over. Just you wait. Once you see how your dreams are crushed, you will be begging for my reign. After you just whoop my ass. Hey, Furion got his crystal. Okay, people should take hints. Perhaps How'd you get your crystal? Beat your respective villain. Case, the end. Let us keep dreaming. A world full of wild roses. Along with my friends, I'll make it come true. It will come true. Someday. I'm gonna plant the hell out of those roses. It was a humble dream. Too ambiguous to call a goal. It nevertheless was the dream that pulled him through his battles. It's literal flower power. I'm sorry. Ow. Ow! Ow! I hurt myself with that stupid joke. His friends and his crystal answered his call. He will no doubt continue on his quest. And with that, Furion's chapter is completed. But I do believe it is time for some reports. Those are always fun. Yeah, I wonder why your funds got cut off, because you're creating some horrible abomination monster thing. Although I do like it occasionally whenever, like, evil organizations do get their funding cut off. What? But we were just making horrifying monsters that would bring about Armageddon! Why are you cutting us off? Come on! Well, time to put it on Kickstarter or Patreon. Support my GoFundMe page.
Oh, hey. Flowers are still blue. Hey, it's Laguna. In a place like this. In a place like this? It was probably put there. Could be some kind of a trap. God, dad, you're so then stupid. It's a clever one. Look. It's perfectly safe. It's also glowing. <laughs> Flower. Huh. Certainly a rare sight. This bloom, what is it called? The name of the flower, you mean? Well, I'm no expert, but I think that's a wild rose. It's just a stupid rose. Where do you get wild rose from? He's making stuff I guess he's there. right, rose? but also Squall is kind of being a yeah, dick. So I thought. Why? What is it? Nothing. It's just... I just feel like I've heard those words somewhere before. It's so frustrating. As if the memory is floating out of reach. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Why don't you hold on to it, Furion? Uh, may I? Sure. Maybe it'll pull some memories out of hiding. Here, don't drop it now. So the basis of Furion's whole dream and his story yeah, is based off of Laguna taking a fucking okay, guess on a flower. Where is everyone anyway? A good question. They can't be far. I'll see what's keeping them. Thanks. Don't forget to come back! Wild Rose. He's got fury and totally believing it. Squall, don't be a dick. God, my dad is so embarrassing. Ugh. It's hard to believe that he's my dad, but we're like the same age. But we look like we're the same age. Ugh. I'm so brooding. Look at my fluffy jacket. Ah, uh, I kid. I like Doug Girl Holtz. He's, he just has a really cool voice. Heard a lot of him in Digimon. Yeah, he's pretty interesting. Interesting? All of them are. Don't you think so? Well, some These more than guys others. Carry weapons right out of a fairy tale. Not to mention the magic they can use. You guys can summon, can use summons too, and you use magic. What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, the tail guy. He sure wasn't happy when I yanked on it. That thing is real. You yanked on it? Why'd you do that, Laguna? <laughs> Why would you yank on Zidane's tail? I mean, I guess he had to know. Chance to get to know him. Yep. Expand our horizontals. Oh my God! It, are they playing eyes on me right now? I think he means horizons. Yeah, they're totally playing eyes on me. Especially since the super romantic song from Final Fantasy VIII. How do you expect to make any friends? This is a battlefield. Why do I need to make friends? Why get to know each other when we're all headed back to our own worlds anyway? Oh please, you can't be serious. For a grown man, that's kind of naive. Damn, this son. Isn't forever. There's no point getting close to anyone. That's not what I meant. Listen. I love you, Laguna. You're so cool. He totally just threw mass amounts of shade on Cloud, Lightning, Squall, and every other brooding JRPG hero. Ah, Laguna's the best. Laguna's awesome. But before that happens, it's nice to have a happy-go-lucky hero in these games. Potential for a rewarding relationship. And the best part yeah. is, Laguna's not thing. stupid. At least not in Dissidia, he's not. <laughs> he's pragmatic now. enough to bring in a gun. And also, I mean he was the one who basically <laughs> won the 12th cycle of the war. Or at least he's the one who took out this the mannequin threat. He gave problems. the whole team the location of, the, of where the mannequins were spawning.
I suppose... I suppose I should just let it go. Hey, Seriously? Cecil's here! Something wrong? Uh, Cecil... No, I... It's nothing. Your expression tells a different tale. You were staring at light. Is it about her? No. Cecil, you have some exactly. serious bedhead, dude. <laughs> Too shy to start a conversation? This has nothing to do with being shy. Light! Uh, no, don't call her over. Oh, God. Please don't Seems bring over that terrible protagonist. You. Would you be so kind? Oh, you dick, Cecil. With me? What is it, Fury? Nothing. Please leave. I. Uh, that is to say. Your game is terrible. Yes. I would prefer to discuss this with Lightning alone. How did you get three games and I only got one? Oh, dear. It's not what you think. You are so not my type. Oh, of course, of course. I shall take my leave. You're taking this the wrong way. Uh, forget it. There's nothing to talk about. I will stab you with all my weapons, Cecil. <laughs> Just you wait! <laughs> Another Johnny Young boss trope. A lot of his characters have issues with women. Being too awkward around them. In a lot of cases, at least. Hey, it's Kane! Yeah! Everything's made better with Kane! Kane is the best. He he just can't get it out. He just can't quite he can't quite say it. <laughs> Poor Firion. He's so nervous around lightning. But don't worry, Firion, you're way more like than lightning is. At least for me, buddy. You're a way more charming character and have a way better design. Oh boy, here comes the other Gunblade user. I I can't take your weapon seriously. I I gotta go. <laughs> I use a lot of weapons, but those things are just too stupid for me. Cutscene time. Light, may I speak with you? You know, I'm starting to wonder if you ever will. Spit it out already. You see, it's a thing of mine you picked up. Something of yours? You mean this? Uh, yes! I'm so glad you haven't thrown it away. So, it was yours, huh? Why didn't you just tell me? Because you're just an awful character. You're right, of course. I wasn't sure how to ask. I mean, a grown man asking for his flower back. It feels a little silly. Oh. Never it's kind of cute, Furion. <laughs> Here. Take it then. Thank you. Thank goodness. I guess it's appropriate that these two characters are talking because, like, they both have connections to roses. Firion is all into the wild yes. rose, and lightning can create roses whenever she attacks. Well, I for certain. Roses are not exactly my field of expertise. However, when I heard the name of the flower spoken, I felt a connection. Like hearing the name of a long-lost friend. I've been unable to forget about it since... <laughs> Listen to me. The great warrior and his precious rose. You should hang on to it. It might be the key you need. Who cares what other people think? Light. Just promise me one thing. Once you have all your memories back, can you give it back to me? Huh? 
That flower, I think it means something to me too. I keep seeing an image of its petals dancing in the air. That's because That's you I summon roses away. whenever you use your, like, attacks with Odin. Feel the connection, but don't it's not in your dreams, you're in your head. You that, that happens. It is the key for us both. So, like I said, you hold on to it. Keep it safe for me, will you, Firion? Hey, Firion, on the bright side, you don't have to give her that rose. She's gone. Ha <laughs> I promise uh, So, hey... You get to keep your rose. Good on you, buddy. Alright, on the next update, we're going to be tackling on Squall's chapter. Alright, time for more brooding. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next update. Until next time, see ya.